ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Minecrafters of all ages, welcome back to Ultimate Bedrock. I thought tonight we could just do a nice little, uh, nice little chill stream in preparation for some stuff we have going on. Let's uh, make some torches here. And where's Girls, Minecrafters of all ages, welcome back to. All right. Um. Apparently, okay. There we go. That can go there, and we can go up here. Whoa, got a little bit of feedback. I think I. Have that taken care of now though. Let's turn it dark. Let's roll it over to daytime. Um, anyways, I thought this would be a good opportunity to because everything that we do in this world is on camera. So I thought we could take this live stream and get some work done here. Some much needed work. Um, on breeding up some cows for some bookshelves and things like that. Just basic uh, resource gathering, like we normally do in these uh, streams for the ultimate bedrock. And of course, you know, you can't have anything happen without that guy there. Couple of eggs. Couple more eggs. No hint. Definitely want to get these guys bred up. Not all of them. I believe so. Alright. Um, so. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to try and breed up our cows and get as much leather as we can here uh, we probably have more than enough paper already uh, thanks to our little sugarcane farm it was an early going thing I like the way we have it surrounding our beach area here and I think we may go ahead and harvest that one time too just to just to make sure Now, in preparation for the next video, we also um, need to get some of this, some of this uh, tree line pushed back. That would be a huge help. The only thing about this uh, thick forest here is creepers tend to sneak up on you and we don't really need any of that. Well, we might have to actually climb up this thing just a little bit to reach the top. Kind of a bigger tree here. Taller tree. But that just means uh, more dark oak forest. I think 
think we can go ahead and push this back just a little bit more. Just to make sure. there is probably fine. I think the rest of this may be okay. Let's see if we have any more wheat ready. Doesn't look like it. Uh, none of it's ready quite yet. But we may be able to go ahead and breed two more cows with the wheat we have. There we go. And another egg. One more hen. Let's uh, go ahead and grab these apples. Or that apple. Make sure we've got plenty of saplings. Uh, these dark oak saplings can be a little bit harder to get at times. Yeah, I think uh, I think that should be a sufficient amount of space there for that. So while we're waiting on our wheat to grow, uh, of course we'd have a little bit of rain, right? swim back around collecting whatever's dropping off in the water so how are you guys feel about the uh, all the new stuff coming to 120 apparently Thursday in the Minecraft monthly uh, which is supposedly a new uh, YouTube series that Mojang is gonna do um, which I'm not sure what that means for Minecraft now, but uh, anyways, uh, Minecraft monthly, uh, we're gonna get the uh, 120 update name, the official name. So maybe we're not too far off from 120 hitting. I mean, it's normally uh, like summertime when those releases come out right but uh, things have been a little bit different uh, with caves and cliffs being broken up and there's just been a lot of differences uh, in the way they do things lately the last couple of years anyways and now when they're they're talking about a bunch of smaller updates rather than uh, larger updates so that'll be interesting to see how that changes things yet again rain is going to have all the mobs back in this forest coming out after us. I think it may be getting dark dust or we may be able to roll it over here soon. I always find it hard to tell when the weather is like this. Alright, let's keep our wheat in our hand. Not ready yet. I don't 
think it's uh, really quite late enough, and I'm not sure. I don't believe we made a clock, but a clock would be very useful for uh, these situations. Yeah, still daytime. That creeper can stay over on that side or despawn. That's fine too. I would like to get these cows bred up pretty thick before we go through and wipe them out, but uh, I really, really need this wheat to grow over here. This is such a daunting process when you have such a small little uh, field going and we can kind of eliminate those potatoes and dude we don't have a hoe on us. I do believe it is getting dark now though. So, should be alright to roll it over. Let's see if we have a hoe down in storage. I believe, well we have a few gold hoes. We have some uh, hay bales too. Hay bales could uh, get put to use right now, actually, right? Let's go ahead and break those down. And let's get our brown food. I think this dried out because it wasn't uh, moist enough. You gotta keep it moist. Now, or saturated would probably be probably be the better word there. And we can get all this breeding going on. Uh, for now, I'm not gonna worry about breeding the sheep. I do know it takes these cows some time to grow up as well. Let's see if we can grab some extra levels in here without getting blown up. our armor would uh, necessarily withstand a creeper blast and it's pretty pretty breaking broken down as well we need to definitely do some uh, diamond hunting that would be nice get some uh, better gear on us help protect us a little bit better uh, especially uh, working on an enchantment setup up here guys ready again wondering trader is on the run or at least it appeared to be do not come near my crops
Now, do you have to... Let's just find out real quick. Do you have to tame llamas in order to breed them? one's being stubborn. can't be uh, tamed by the traitor, I suppose. Alright, we are going to slowly but surely turn this all into wheat. And we can expand with uh, get the carrots and stuff like that somewhere else later on. Oh, we do have a lead here. Let's, uh, let's bring you this way. And, oh. Hmm. Boy, he's doesn't want to come that's all right we'll get some wild llamas sometime and uh, we'll get those guys bred up then of a problem planting these while we're waiting on our wheat to grow I, I do believe the carrots grow even quicker than the potatoes so and we want that creeper to stay back there that, that's for sure
And our audio's back. Sorry about that. Sometimes unexpected things happen uh, when you don't have an actual recording office. So uh, I end up setting up all over the place to throughout the house to do this. And normally I'm not interrupted, but uh, yeah, it happens, I guess. <clears throat> So, basically, um, we're, we're getting there with the, uh, with the cows, despite the lack of our, um, wheat field, <laughs> thanks to the hay bales we got <laughs> from exploring, um, they're really paying off. And we definitely need to get diamond armor. I we lost all of our levels to that Enderman. I, I didn't even realize I looked at him until he came after me. And if I would have just stayed in the water until I got full health, I think I would have been all right. 
I just needed, I guess, one more hit than I thought I did, unfortunately, so instead of me getting him, he got me. Uh, I don't have a death counter in this world, but I believe, <laughs> I believe that's our second or third one. So that puts us uh, tied right up there with our Let's Play series, right? And we're on episode 66 of that. Um, I'm pretty sure I had food down here. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of exciting things going on. Uh, just working on getting uh, 15 bookshelves. So, let's get us some food cooked up and... did I see all this before aha and we can put our collected rotten flesh there our spruce tree should grow any time we can cut it down and I believe we should get enough logs out of it to supply us with all that we need Fuel. Okay, I don't know if I want to waste a second piece if it's uh, if we're that low on it. I think uh, most of our digging. Well, the drown, the drown was nothing. <laughs> uh, the Mindermen, though, boy, they sure pack a punch. Uh, especially when you're in unenchanted iron armor, which, uh, again, is... Oh, man, it's taking a beating. Uh, so, I think... Well, our next project... I really don't want to give away any spoilers, but very soon uh, very soon we are going to have to have an iron farm so that we don't have any worries with iron in this world and in the meantime oh, that carrot wasn't ready man there's there's a lot of rain a lot of rain in this world today. Let's get these cows all bred up again. And I should not have an odd number of wheat. There we go. I think we are going to make an automatic chicken cooker uh, fairly soon as well. Although, stocking up on these bookshelves, we will end up with quite a bit of uh, beef to get us going for a while. I just, I have a feeling that that. Uh, Zombie is gonna track our way. And that's okay as long as it's just a zombie and not a creeper. I do not believe we would survive a creeper explosion. Uh, now, the creeper, the three hit with uh, our iron sword. But we definitely need, definitely need some diamond upgrades really, really soon. And, you know, if uh, we weren't worried about what's going on up here, 
I would suggest going down into the caves and doing some mining for those but uh, I think that's something better left for possibly next time right now we need to focus on the project at hand good I think I want to grow at least one more of those oh my goodness now I'm gonna be paranoid of those endermen and there's a creeper just because we were talking about it whoa I was way too far back for him to go off like that Interesting. Let's get this uh, hole covered over. In fact, we're going to go ahead and throw a torch in there just so that we don't have to fill it solid. I don't think I looked at him. Even though he's like whizzing by, <laughs> I don't think uh, that was anything I did. Okay, here's some more sapling spores. And I really don't want this pods all, all over here. So we'll dig up this dirt when we're done. And. Place it back. Let's see. If we can grab some dirt from up here safely. spare we made a profit let's uh, do a little more cow breeding to get a few more seeds out of all that between the uh, creeper explosion and digging up some dirt over there so let's uh, go ahead and get those planted get these carrots up that wheat's ready Probably should have been using my fortune to hoe the harvest crop. I'm not sure if that really makes a difference on the crops, but uh, yeah, it wouldn't hurt. <laughs> I mean, it's a golden hoe, but it's better than a stone one, especially with the enchantments. I 
can't believe that creeper exploded. I, I'm pretty sure I was far enough back uh, that he shouldn't have. And this chicken here is just gonna kind of hang out and run around. like an unwritten law, isn't it? That, like, you have to go after the trident. Oh, and we got it. Whoa, what was that? Oh, regular zombie. No one invited you to the party? Jeez. Fighting mobs like this right here will get them levels back in no time. Even if not, we gotta try it. with the rain they're gonna come from all over the place let's uh, not look at that enderman yep we got skeletons spawning in a bat out here like this I believe that's the first that I've seen that That's, that's interesting. Yeah, I believe that's a first for that. That I've seen. We're going to get ready to switch it over to daytime. Oh yeah, five seeds. That is definitely... Yeah, I would say that uh, fortune on a hoe works. We can kind of squeeze up here. That's the purpose of designing it that way so you don't always have to go to the trouble using the gate. And there we go. Now how about that drowned Fred? <laughs> I mean that guy gave us a trident and everything though. And I I wanna say that's our second one, yeah. Look at there, we had another one. So I mean we're not doing too bad in the uh trident department so some of these uh, farms that we're gonna build we can definitely use some uh, trident killers without too much worry about how we're gonna get a hold of them Creepers don't get you. Oh man. Uh, I mean, hand-to-hand -hand combat with the creepers is a good little way to get somewhat of a stockpile on gunpowder uh, pre-mob farming days. those guys do their thing and then I think we'll be ready for a harvest and we'll just have to wait on the other ones to grow up oh 
Oh yeah, fortune definitely makes a difference uh, with your crops. <laughs> Don't think those potatoes are ready. I still can't believe. I don't think I've seen a bat above ground like that before. And our tree's ready, but I don't think our axe is going to quite make it. Let's uh, let's go ahead and make us another axe so that we can get that chopped down while we're and if I can remember where our goodies are right here Uh, no cave entrances that I know of that's the uh, that's the funny part uh, we may have to do some more exploring in that little uh, dark forest there um, has to be where he came from though you're right but even still I don't think I've ever seen him fly oh, a couple sticks would be useful is it one or two Um, he had to have come from a cave entrance somewhere and with it being dark and everything But uh, even still I've never seen one above ground uh, That's a that's a first for me. I mean logically That has to be where he came from right? spread out is helping them grow a little bit more it's a shame we don't have bees nearby to help pollinate it and I don't see any nearby creepers so we're gonna go for it and go ahead and get this tree chopped down uh, I'm pretty sure the last tree was probably enough for what we need, but you know, it's spruce wood. We already had the pods all here. Why not go ahead and take a second tree while we're basically playing the waiting game on crops and our cows, right? I want to let the babies all grow up and when they're grown up, Give them a good breeding and, uh, you know, uh, do the thing. The unspeakable thing. The most humane way uh, that we can in Minecraft. And that's just straight up doing it. Without them being crushed to death or burned to death slowly. Just... Yeah, chop them down real quick and real quick. So with an iron sword, it may, it may take a couple chops. <laughs> so I, I I don't I don't know. Maybe maybe it's not going to be as humane as I was thinking. <laughs> Preb is definitely right. There has to be a uh, cave entrance somewhere nearby. I mean, we have our mining entrance, but uh, that's 
it's right here and it's sealed off he couldn't have he could have came up to the door but not gotten out and I'm pretty sure he came from that way we could go we could go investigate but I uh, don't really think we have quite the food for that I mean we have some carrots right Stay, we'll stay shallow. We won't go too deep. Um, see if there's anything super close here. Like I'm thinking it would have to be. <laughs> There's, I just couldn't get into them and the creeper coming up behind them too they were getting too many shots in on me not a good move without a shield not a good move without a shield I think I'm gonna have to go grab up them other hay bales that I locked away. So that we can get these guys bred up when they get grown up. with potatoes but I think I think those have yeah I think those have like one more stage seeing the skeletons and I thought hey you know some bones but uh, that creeper no thank you <laughs> no just no not today it can creep somewhere else dandy little path now we did have uh, three other coal there and I do remember throwing some in the chest at the beginning of the stream uh, in our little storage area in fact let's Grab our hay bales. Oh. There we go. Let's grab these four eggs. That should definitely be enough hay to 
breed them all up one more time when they babies get grown. One chicken. Well, I mean, we do have plenty of carrots. We could snack on those, but they're not very sustaining. We really go through them quick. Planks, not slabs. Oops. Okay, um, the slabs would be for the uh, lecterns. Still have some babies that need growing. I don't know if I'm just paranoid or if I seen something move back there. <laughs> um, yeah, we've got a few babies still growing. to level 12 um, I believe we were at level 17 before that enderman got us but with all the uh, cow breeding and everything I'm hoping that it doesn't take us very long to get back there and when we go resource mining uh, we'll get some levels from that as well we definitely need to find more coal Still holding on by a thread. far enough back that time but I'm pretty sure for the uh, first one I, I was <laughs> um, actually let's go ahead and do that trick again get a torch down there let's do this number Fill this 
send down here. Go ahead and finish chopping this tree. That way it's not floating. Oh my goodness, it would be one of those, wouldn't it? Problem. We'll tower right on up here. And we see the sky. That just means we get more wood. Though these two tall, uh, two, you know, these taller oak trees like this right here are such a pain. Oh, I broke our gold hook with the fortune. Fortune 2 Ho is gone. Uh, we're just gonna place that log there. Let's see if our yeah, chicken hasn't grown up. It looks like our cows are all grown though. need some of these carrots. Well, we could take this drown on. Get a few more levels. Or a little more experience, I mean. Oh, man. Every time a creeper blows up, it's like, there goes that gunpowder, you know? Accidentally take out the babies. So I always find that this is the easiest way to avoid that is just by hitting above their hitboxes. Especially when there's crammed quarters like that. No looting on our sword. But uh, we 
definitely got some leather. And we're going to roll it over to daytime again. But, uh, oh, we need paper. Look at that. We got quite a bit of beef out of that. Let's go ahead and pop them carrots in there. That was a lot more cows than uh, I thought there was in that little area. And actually, I don't need that or that. And we got our 15 bookshelves. And that is a mission complete. Uh, we definitely need to do something about our armor as it has really taken a beating. But thank each and every one of you for joining me for tonight's stream. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, a lot of action. <laughs> oh, it was supposed to just be a chill little stream to chit chat and get some stuff done, uh, get our enchantment table made, and get some bookshelves. But uh, you got to see a little bit more than that. Uh, some good, some not so much. <laughs> but thank each and every one of you for tuning in. Remember, if you're not already following me, go ahead and hit that follow button. That way you get notifications every time I go live. And if you're not following me over on YouTube, go ahead and do that now. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos over there. And don't forget to check out all the other Forever Bedrock members. Uh, even though we're in Ultimate Bedrock single player world right now. I can't say enough good things about those guys. And I really believe you'll enjoy their content as much as I do. And I will see each and every one of you in the next video.